Yes, we hear you. You are live on air. Who's talking to me? <laughs> Kashim. Kashim? Okay, Mr. Kashim, how are you doing? I'm okay, yes, sir. I'm all right. So what do you want to say to us, Mr. Kashim? I got a, another question. Oh, you have a question? I thought you... Are you a Muslim? Yes. That's wonderful. What do you think about what I was oh. saying first? Oh. About oh. What, what is the oh. kingdom of oh. David? God. Before you go, what, oh. what, God. what is the kingdom of David? Do you know? How can God die? He, who told you who uh, God die? Who told you that? What do you mean? Who is the stupid told you God die? Give me his name. In Bible. Well, hold on. So you are saying that the Bible says that God died? Yes, Jesus. Yes. Okay, can you show me where it says that? Uh, he went cross, crucified. Okay, so you are saying to me if he wasn't the cross, that's mean he is not God, right? No, you you say he God, yes? No, no, no. I, I'm trying to understand you. You are saying if Jesus was on the cross and he was crucified, that to prove that he cannot be God, correct? I yes yes okay thank you very much guys this uh, uh, Muslim brother he said if Jesus was a crucified there's no way he is God but in the Quran my friend Jesus was not crucified so according to the Quran Jesus must be God no no he wasn't crucified in Quran no in, in the Quran in the he, Quran he, he, okay the Quran he did Jesus crucified or not uh, no okay you, you told us if Jesus was in the cross that is a proof that he cannot be God correct no, no, if he died, okay, no, listen, out if he died, if he died, correct, okay, okay, I understand you. Now, Jesus, according to the Quran, he was not crucified and until now he's alive, is that correct? Yes. Okay, how do you explain to us that Jesus did not die? You are the one who said, if Jesus died, he cannot be God. According to your Quran, until now, Jesus is alive. Yep. Uh, uh, what? You, you are the one who told me that you are the one who told me that if Jesus died, he cannot be God Everybody heard you According to your Quran Jesus never died until now he's alive So how a man he is just a man he is alive for more than 2,000 years and he don't die No, no, you see this is your logic. This is your logic Abdul, Abdul my brother Abdul I like you I know Abdul. and I know and I know you are very smart smarter than me. So I uh, 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 Excuse my uh, my my foolishness you are the smart one explain to us no, no, I'm how you can answer this you are the one who said if Jesus die he cannot be God will Jesus in your religion never die until now no, I'm saying no you you you, you twisted words you I said that how can God die who said right? who, okay, I, and I told you and I told you who told you that God died who told in you that Bible. it doesn't say that you are a liar show me show me what it says that so he didn't die we are where show me I want to learn from you where it says God die no, no, I'm, I'm asking I'm just asking you did Jesus it, it didn't die? say that it didn't say it says that they crucified Jesus and they killed the flesh of Jesus God is not a man God he came to us in the flesh they killed the flesh that's all God never died mm. or God is always alive mm. let me ask you a question when your God Allah mm. he changed his uniform mm. from a leg to different shape what happened to the first uniform is it dead or alive uh, I'm sorry I don't understand your question okay you're a prophet when the Muslims ask him about seeing Allah in the day of judgment he said yes you will see him and he will come to you in a shape other than the one which you know so now Allah have two shape shape number one and shape number two okay when Allah he came in shape number one I said I mean sorry shape number two he have to exchange shape number one. What happened to shape number one? Die or is still alive? Uh, I'm ignorant. I need to check. You know. What do you mean you check? You want you want to show you the, the hadith in front of your eyes? Well, no, do, do you want that? No. Do, do, yeah, no, 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 no. Why you want to check? We can do it right now. You are smart. You are educated. Not like me. I don't know how to read, how to write, and, no, I, you and even my English is funny. Everybody knows that. I do not know the difference between dump and dump. You can ask the Muslims. So now you help me. Your prophet said that Allah will come to you in the shape other than the one which you saw first time. So Allah have two shapes. Okay, when Allah he came in the second shape, what happened to the first shape? That shape died or still alive? 
I don't know what what you mean. You know, what do you uh, mean? I, my question is very okay. Let me say it slowly, slowly. I came to you in a shape other than the I first shape, which means shape. It's mean a body, body, oh, body. Shape is a body. Get, get My friend, shape is a body. He changed his body. Shape is a body. So Allah, He came to you in a in a new body. What happened to the first body? Please show me where it says. All right. Now you put me in the corner because if I could not show you, you will make fun of me. So I, this is embarrassing. I hope I will pray to Allah to me, to help me to find you the. Uh, uh, the hadith. Hold on. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let us see. I hope I will be able to find it because you know uh, it's very embarrassing now uh, if I don't show it to you. People will talk about me and my reputation, and things will be really horrible. But uh, let us hope. Let us hope that's yeah. Okay, let us see here. All right. Are you are you watching the YouTube with me? Uh, yes. All right. I need to read some Quran to find the verse uh, because uh, I mean the hadith it's, it's not coming Ish. Okay, I think we 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 found it. Hold on, let me find. Uh... Okay. <clears throat> Look with me, please. <clears throat> Hello. You hear me? Uh, yeah. Okay. We have. I will show you many hadith in the front of us. Not only one, and all of them they are sahih. Sahih al Bahar, yeah. Yeah. This is your sahih. Yeah. This is sahih. All right. Okay. Now. <sighs> Now, uh, this is the first hadith. Read the reference with me, please. This is Sahih al Bukhari, hadith mm -hmm. number, book number, value, sorry, uh, uh, value number six, book number 60, hadith number 105. This is okay. the first one. Okay, hold on. I will show you to, show, to, confer, to confirm you how many. This is the second one. You see here in the translation it says in a shape nearest to the picture they had in their mind It doesn't say that but this is not important for us so Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. Allah have two shapes. What happened to the first shape? Can you, can you just show me again? Because I didn't see it. Okay. I, I see the shape. Because I think I'm ahead of the screen, you know? Okay, no problem. Let me let me get you uh, 
mean behind, sir? Uh, more clear uh, hadith. All right, hold on. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Allah will come to them. Our Lord will come to the Muslims. And he would say, I am your Lord. I am your Lord. They would say, we take refuge with Allah from thee. And we don't associate anything with Allah. All right. And they will say that many times. All right. Now the question is, Allah is coming to them in different shape. He changed his shape. What happened to the first shape? I'm just reading it now. With Allah from the first shape. I want to feed it twice for a priest. So some of them would be able to test if there's a sign between you. Uh, I do because okay. Uh, to be honest, I'm uh, I I'm ignorant, so I need to I need to you know okay. research. But the Quran, I mean, the, your prophet, he confirmed that Muhammad, he is saying that your God Allah have two shape at least. One is the one which is, is they saw first time, and the, the the new shape. So now Allah have two shape. When Allah he finished or done with the first shape, what happened to it? It die. Allah changed his form and the form here is a form of a, a person Whatever the form look like a form of a man a form of an octopus. We don't care What happened to the first form? What do you think? I, I, I You know, I can't answer you know, I, I, I need to research so Hmm Okay. I can't, you know, I can't tell no you answer because I don't no answer. Now, I now, as long as you hear you, you, you know, like you're like you are in trouble because you cannot ex explain to us that your God is always alive, but now He is one God, but now He is two gods, for He is well, two, he, he is two shape. I'll come back to you because I, I, you know, I, I, I need to research myself. Ah, okay, no problem. Now let us go back to zero then. We were talking about the kingdom of David and Suleiman. According to you, as a Muslim, where is the where where is the location of the kingdom of David? Well, it would be ancient Palestine. Would be the ancient Palestine. Ancient, ancient Palestine. Yes. Ancient. Okay. So now this is the land of the Jews. Um. Why? Why yeah, you Muslims? Like, why you Muslims? You're saying that the Jews, the Jews have nothing to do with Jerusalem. If you just admitted that this is the kingdom of Suleiman. No, historically, it, Palestine was Jewish, yes, but uh -huh. it doesn't interfere to the Islamic faith because we didn't differ from them, you know? What, what, what? I don't understand what does that mean. What do you mean? If, if you we, just said that this is the land of the Jews and you, you understand we, that we this historically, when you say historically, God. when you say historically, what does that mean? Does that mean the Jews, they built they build Jerusalem? Is that what it's meant? The Jews, they are the one who built the land, they built the city? Well, yes, Jews. Yes, Jews built the city. Yes. Okay. So the, the so the Jews, the Jews, they built the city. Now, what make you have the right to have any city there? As long this is their city, this is they are born there, and this is their land, and they are the one who uh, build it, and kingdom. Their who, kingdom. Who said? You? Who said that I don't agree? Okay. So why you are, why, why the Jews is not their land? Then why the Israel is not the land of the Israeli? No, it is. The, I would say it is Jewish. It. Jewish, but but there's a but. We just like there's Christian sections. There's also Muslim sections. What what there's section? What, okay, okay. What is the Muslim section? What what is what is the Muslim section? What is the Muslim section? And what make it Muslim section? Tell me. Because the Palestinian people have always been there. Those are not Palestinian. Those are Arab. They came in the invasion in the year seven hundred with Omar al-Khattab. Palestinians are not Arab. Palestinians are not Arab. Ask all those who claim to be Palestinian to the Hamas. Ask them. They will say to you, are Arab. All of us, we knew that the first time Arabic language entered the land of Bilad al-Sham, what's called Bilad al-Sham, the land of Syria, is in the time of Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, long after Muhammad's death. First time ever somebody speak Arabic there. Even the, the record of the, of the, the Caliphate, Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, was not written in Arabic, it was an Aramaic language. 
because his people do not know how to read, how to write. So he have to use the Aramaic, the Syrian, you know, language because they are the only one knows how to write, how to read. The Bedouin, they are savage. So now the first time the Arabic language enter into Jerusalem, if it enter at that time, is when the Arab invade that land. So what does this have to do with the Palestinian today? Those are not Palestinian. Those are Arab invaders. They came to this land. There's no Arab there. Well, you know, you could say the same for these Jews now, uh, Europeans. They came from the... the it doesn't matter. Europe. You know, this is their business. This is their land. No, 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 no listen, 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 listen. The land of Germany is German, right? Mm. Okay. They accept refugees. Many of them are Muslims. Uh, this is their business. Is If they are willing to welcome refugee or people to give them citizenship, this is their problem. They have the right mm -hmm. because they own the land. It's not your business. If I want to have somebody in my house, I can have him. So now we confirm that the land is the land of the Jews. And you Muslims have no right to claim it. So why you are being injustice and why you are not being honest with yourself and why you don't say, we know this is their land. They are the one who built Jerusalem. They are the one who built Haifa. They are the one who built all the cities and those cities belong to them. What about what about the city of Al Medina where your prophet he seek refuge? Did he come as a refugee to the city of Yathrib? And the uh, Jews and the Jews was full of the city. So yeah. this is a Jewish city. Muhammad came as a refugee. How you must then take it from the Jews? Give it to the Jews. Well, in the day that was in the day when it was at large, it was bigger than what Judaism. The, what does have to do with the Christianity, my friend? The I, city I, I'm where to... Muhammad, where Muhammad came, he came to the land of the Jews. That is not yes. far away from Mecca. This is a city of the Jews. Muhammad came as a refugee, and then imagine he killed the ones who welcome him in their cities and he took their cities and now muslims changed the name and now no christian no jews can allow or allowed to get inside the city but this is not your city in the heart of saudi arabia no technically saudi arabia was mostly pagan though. it doesn't matter now why you don't allow the jews to go back to their city which is the city of yathrib who says that who says that? well i i don't I, Maybe that, I, I, you what know, do you I mean? Who, what, who, who, what do you mean? What they, who says there is a sign because in the highway? Do you, do you want to show it to you? It says no, no, only right, Muslims, only Muslims can enter this land. And actually, the Quran have a verse saying that the Christians and the Jews and non-Muslims are najis, so they cannot enter those areas. Can I speak, please? Yeah, sure. But, uh, but by the way, yeah. where are you from? If you don't mind, are you? Huh? From, where are you from? From Pakistan. Uh, yes, but living in the United Kingdom. Yeah, but, but you are Pakistani. Yeah, uh, no, Iran. You are from Iran? Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so are you Shia or Sunni? Sunni. You are Sunni. All right. Yes. What, what Sunni mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? What does it mean? I don't know. I, I'm asking you. I, you know, I'm ignorant. I do not know anything about Islam. I'm not trying to re learn from you. What, what the word Sunni mean? I think you're just trying to... Okay, okay me tell me what Sunni mean. I, I'm trying. What oh, trying? Uh, is it is it is it shameful to say what Sunni mean? What Sunni mean? <laughs> Hang up. I don't know, what, guys. Did I do something wrong? I mean, I'm trying to trap him. He said, I don't know what he said. Spank me. You are trying to spank me. I don't know what he said. What? I mean, here we go. Thank you. Thank you, Allah. Finally, we got a Muslim who call us and he have to admit that this is the land of the Jews. And I was speaking to him in a very nice way, right? I mean, I, I was not aggressive with him. Who's next? Who is next? What do you mean I don't let him speak? All this talk, he did not talk yet? Are you sure? Look at the Abdul guys. I don't let him speak. All of this is recorded. You can play it. Okay, I, I Muslims, as long as you think that he was doing good, I encourage you to download the recording after we finish and post it in every Islamic YouTube. Who want to do that? And when a Muslim, he says to me, I am a Sunni. What does that mean? 
I will tell you what does that mean. It's mean you have to clean your ass with three rocks. Do you? Who is a Muslim of you? When he go in the bathroom, he take a throw rocks with him. You are not a Sunni. You are a liar. A person who is a Sunni, he pee in the street sitting. A Muslim who is a Sunni, he collect boogers and he put it in his pocket. A Muslim who is a Sunni, he have to have a lot of flies in his head. A Muslim who is a Sunni, he have to have a wife. She is six years old. So what do you mean you are a Sunni? You are not a Sunni. Sunni are the one who follow the Sunnah of Muhammad. What is the Sunnah? The way of life. The practice of Muhammad. That is what Sunnah is about. So why they lie to us and they say we are Sunni? You are not. Now, how many Jews here listening to this uh, video? If you, if there is Jews in here, give me one. Do we have Jews here? Anyone? If you are a Jew, download this video. You can cut the part. I mean, don't do editing. No, just cut the part from the time he uh, call to the time he hang up and post it around. Let everybody hear how the Muslims admit that this is the land of the Jews. What is that? What is the Sunni? A Muslim Sunni is someone when he piss, he shake his penis three times. Chuk, chuk, chuk. I mean, why three times? What will happen if it's four times? His penis will fall apart? A Muslim Sunni. None of you is a Sunni. You are a bunch of hypocrites. Do you wear jeans? You're a prophet. He said the one who dressed like them is one of them. If a Muslim he dressed like us, he is one of us. So what do you mean you are a Sunni? Do you wear our shoes? Do you wear our underwear? Do your wife buy Victoria's Secret? Do she buy lipstick? Do the Muslims have lipstick? Who is the one who made lipstick? If you're a prophet, make it clear that the one who do what they do, he is one of them. Everything you do, Muslims, today is what we do. You are trying to copy us. We make phone, you buy our phone. Huh? We make cars, you buy our cars. He is calling again. How are you, my friend? Hello? Okay. Okay. You know, uh, so do you feel better now? I, I, I hope I did not offend you. Did I offend you or something? I couldn't be involved with stupid questions. Oh, okay. Why is it so stupid? Can you tell me? It's just so stupid. Well, no, I, I let us say for the sake of argument, I am asking a stupid question. Can't you give me a no, smart, I, smart answer for a stupid you know, question? You know the passage, Isaiah, Isaiah forty-two. Uh, no, I do not know what that verse. What, can you tell me what about it? Tell me, please. <clears throat> One second. As Isaiah, what forty-two? <laughs> Hmm. Is Isaiah is is he a Christian? Jew. Oh, he's a Jew. Okay, I'm I'm glad he's not a Christian. I was going to be upset because he said something bad. Okay, so I forty-two. If you can, if you wait, why did you bring up Isaiah forty-two on your program and have a read? Well, no problem. We are here. Read it for us. What Isaiah forty-two saying? You you very easy. So you to tell. Uh, everyone, show my, everyone. My friend, my friend. Okay, right we now. will show. We will show. No problem. Can you tell us where? What? What verse in Isaiah forty-two? Isaiah forty-two. They mean the chapter, right? Yeah, just read the chapter. Yeah. Okay, what, the whole chapter. You want me to read it? It's big. What do you want me to read exactly? <laughs> okay. Uh, read from. Uh, to search Google. Search Google. Okay, read from the uh, first uh, 42 1 to 42. What 42 1? I don't understand. What do you mean 42 1? 
chapter 30, 42 I think chapter 42 verse 1 okay verse number 1 this one okay to 17 okay all right let me see hold on it's a prophecy for from prophet muhammad if, if that's deep you know, th this is why this is why uh, Christian friends try and not read it for you because obviously it's a prophecy about your prophet. And how you find out that this is a prophecy about your prophet, if you don't mind to tell me? Uh, speaker's corner. If, if, if that's deep, that's deep. Okay, let us see. I'm going to uh, show everybody the verse you mentioned for us, or the chapter. And actually, I'm going to play the sound of it so everybody can hear. You know. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Isaiah 42. Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. Mm -hmm. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he have set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. Mm -hmm. Thus saith God the Lord, He that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth, and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. Okay, and to what, what verse you want? And to what verse? Are we done, or you want more? Uh, sorry, what verse you had now? What what verse you said? The one you stop? You want me to stop? Uh, I'd say seventeen. Seven have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and then that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord. That is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing, let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord and declare his praise in the islands. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. Okay, hold on, hold on. Does it say that the Lord shall come as a mighty man? Are you there? Hello. Let us go from the beginning. Uh, you want to go from number one, yes? Yeah. Now let me ask you a question. Here it says that this guy who is he's talking of, he is not. He should not speak loud in the streets. Do your prophet Muhammad don't speak loud in the street? Uh, can you just show me what uh, verse that was, please? Verse number two. Uh, he will not cry out no racist voice. Well. He will not cry out no well, I can show you a ton of hadith about your prophet screaming at people. Okay, but we can see this. Okay. We can see the same to we could say the same to Jesus. And this is don't change the topic now. You you are the one who said this is about Muhammad. Right? Yes, but I'm guessing do okay, you believe this is for don't, Jesus don't, or not? I'm not, not talking about Jesus now. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Well, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I'm, you're a I'm prophet. You, you, you are the one who said, I am not the one who said this is about Jesus. Did I say so? Yes. Did, I, did I say so? Oh, no. Did I say so? So then, yes no. so then don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I'm not saying you. you no, no, we don't want to change the topic. Me. You say I this is about Muhammad. Let us laugh at you. Don't change the topic. There's a person who will never speak loud. Number two, he will sing for the Lord. Isn't it in music haram? In Islam? That is so out of context. Listen, is anti music haram in Islam? Yes or no? <laughs> Instruments. Is anti music haram? Yes or no? Singing, no. It says singing there. What do you mean singing? No. Where, okay, show singing me. Okay, show haram. show me where it says that singing is halal in Islam. Show me where it's not. Okay, here we go. That's a good thing. No problem. 
And I just wanted to don't, ask don't, you Don't, 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 just wait, just wait, just wait. You don't let me Just speak. wait, just wait, just wait. Don't change the topic. We want to finish one by one. You said show me, it's right? Not I'm, not, I'm not like you. I'm not it's like you. I'm not like I'm you. Asking. When you say to me, show me, I show you. All right? You're so, okay. you're very So, bad. here we go. In, in your, your manner, here we go. Bad. You know, you're, you're a prophet. He said it clearly that don't do anything is called lahul kalam we go to the interpretation it says like singing any music singing any music all right it doesn't say music in the text okay we will see hold on hold on hold on so, so I, i'm just saying okay isaiah okay. 42 does not say music in the text okay it says singing are you allowed to do singing yes where it says that where does it say it doesn't so are you saying to me that in the Quran, if nowhere it says it does not, it's mean it's allowed? What? Well, obviously not. So, you're, you're, so, you're, so why you are why you are not giving the answer? Okay, where it says where it says where it says. Okay, if I show you if I show you right now, you're scholars. Listen, listen, Abdul. If I show you right now, you're scholars saying you're scholars saying that singing is haram. What you will do? Well, then I, I was ignorant and I should have known that. But All right. Let, right us do, now, let us do that. Let us do that. The thing is, you're very biased, my friend, because... Okay, so you see, I'm going to show you what you Muslims believe. Because if I show you, you will say to me, uh, you know, uh, this is your opinion, this is not a true, you know? This is not a, not a true. Okay, we will see if this is true or not. I just wanted to ask, did you think Isaiah This is the topic. I don't want to change the topic because if we change it, then we are going to speak about Jesus. Right? You are the one who's oh, taking after? it. Okay, are you taking uh, when, when you when you quote for me, uh, Isaiah, are you giving interpretation based on your Islamic source or a Christian source? Well, I'm getting the text from the Bible. No, no, I know, I know. But are you are you qualified to give interpretation for the Christian and the Jewish books? Can I read them? Do you mean? What do you mean? No, are you qualified to give interpretation for the Christians and the Jewish books? And when I say you, I say all of you Muslims. Like I'm saying all of you Muslims are you qualified? You know, if I give interpretation for the Quran, do you accept it? If it's in the if it's in the text, then yes. What do you mean it's in the text? Then? Do you accept my interpretation? It depends if it's in the text. If it if what, what do you mean? Like do you mean? Say, okay. I, I have to admit, it doesn't say where does Jesus say. I okay. Thought, what do you, you mean? Guys think the concept okay. is there, yes? What do you mean in the text? If the, the context in the text. Uh, this is the one who will make decision that this is what the context is saying. You're telling me that we can't sing, yes? I'm saying to you. Is that is that you? Is that no? You? I'm saying to you that you must do not you know. You said Muhammad what, did not sing, yes? Okay, you Muhammad. Where Muhammad he said you can sing. Where did Jesus say you can sing? Here we go. The, the, the Bible. The Bible Jesus? says you can sing for the Lord. You can sing. You can sing. Who said you cannot sing? Now show me where your Quran says you can sing. Can you show me? You are the one who chose to me the verse. The verse in front of you it says, sing. Did Muhammad sing? Muhammad. Did Muhammad sing? Did, did Muhammad sing? Did Muhammad, did Muhammad sing? Yes or no? Did Muhammad sing? Yes or no? proclaiming. What, what, what it doesn't sing. You're not going to be singing it, are you? Sing what? Sing, sing what? Sing what? Verses. Okay. Muhammad was proclaiming what? Proclaiming Muhammad was loud. proclaiming what? 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 That he was the prophet. But it says there. Okay, let us read the verse together. You see, I don't know. You are jumping uh, uh, like uh, from place to place. It says, "Sing into well, the maybe, Lord I'm, new song." Listen, listen, listen. Sing into the Lord the new song. Did Muhammad sing a new song to the Lord? Did Muhammad sing a new song to the Lord? Is that what it says in Isaiah? Yeah, verse number ten. It says, "Sing into the Lord a new song." Did okay. Muhammad sing a new song to your to your Allah? Let's Just say let us say he is singing to Allah. Uh, is that a new song? I'm reading the text now. Second, please. Hmm. <clears throat> Behold, 
A new thing I look for. Because <laughs> it's for to be up. Sing to the Lord a new song. And his praise on the end of the earth. You who go down to the sea. Coast lines and maps of the wilderness. Voice the villages that go her. A new song. Okay. Sing to a Lord to a new song. And his praise from the ends of the earth. What? Ha, ha. Uh, uh, yeah. Did he, did he just bring a new song? Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You know, don't change no, the topic. I'm, I'm don't don't change. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Jesus, he I'm brought er, everything. Jesus with Jesus is in you. Jesus, he is the Lord. He, uh, you know, he says it's been said to you, but I say to you. Yes, he brought a new song. When when the uh, Jews they came to stone the women, what Jesus said to them: If one of you had, don't have uh, uh, sin, don't have sin, cast your first stone. So Jesus, he brought something in you. The Jews don't understand. Uh, you are changing the topic to get away from the, the, the disaster. You say this verse is about Muhammad. And let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a simple question: Why your prophet did not say that you can find my name in Isaiah forty-two? I am just asking you. I'm to just asking that. you too. Why your prophet? Are you saying that the speaker corner, the Abdul you saw in the speaker corner, is a smarter and he's more knowledgeable? Where the name of your prophet appear and where is the prophecy about him appear? Are you saying to me, you Muslims, that your prophet was a stupid? He do not know that it is speaking about him in the Torah, but he do not know. Are you saying to you Muslims that Muhammad is the last one to know? Is the same as when his wife she was sleeping around with Safwan? He is the last one to know. What's wrong with you? How you say to me that this is about Muhammad, but Muhammad never said so. Why Muhammad did not quote that verse for the Jews when he was alive? He says, hey, listen, Isaiah is about me. Give me an answer. Well, tell me where Jesus said some the verse in the Torah. Don't to change the topic. Why you are a prophet do not know about it? He is a prophet or he was aftermarket prophet. And you Muslims can find a place for him. Look, it's if you if you answer, down, answer, don't change the topic. Careful. Answer why it's your prophet careful. do not know. How come well, he do not know? Is? How come he do not know? Do you know why? Was Jesus in Kedar? Let me ask you a question. Was Jesus was, in Kedar? Was Muhammad in Kedar? Yes. Where? Where is Kedar? Well, you tell me. Well, you tell me. You are the one who said yes. Tell me where is Kedar. Let us laugh at you. It's about Prophet Muhammad. Bye. Where is Kedar? Kedar is Mecca? <laughs> Kedar is in Medina? <laughs> Answer. Where is Kedar? Hello? Did he hang up? What happened? Are you there? <laughs> Let us go in again. Let us laugh. Mm. All right, all right, coward. Guys, look what it says here. Muhammad, we know all of us that he have a companion. He is a blind. Was Muhammad able to make the blind see? Hmm? And I will bring the blind by the way that they know not. I will lead them in a bath. What does that mean? Muhammad, he brought the blinds. Muhammad, he made fun of the blinds. He kicked the blind from his house. There's a verse in the Quran that says, quote, Abasa wa tawalla in ja'ahu al-a'ma. Abasa. A blind man came to Muhammad. And Muhammad, he kicked his ass out of the house. And if you go to the interpretation, you will see that Muhammad, he kicked this man out of his house in chapter 81, verse number 1. Because he was busy with the rich men of Quraysh. The verse is speaking totally different. Muhammad was a very bad person with the blind men. Muhammad, he insulted people who they are suffering from disability. And we can show you many examples. Huh? Where is Muhammad? 
the Muslims are so desperate to find their prophet in our books because they cannot prove to us their prophet and the most stupid funny thing I find when a Muslim he says to us it is found here and there but he's a prophet never mention it maybe Allah did not inspire Muhammad the prophet of the Abdul that his name in Isaiah 42 is that the reason so a speaker corner who came 1400 years or the, he is learning from uh, Ahmad Dida the, the donkey he copied the, the, the Muslims are copy paste but nobody asked himself why Muhammad in his time did not say my name is in Isaiah I am the comforter right let me show you what your prophet said where his name is going to be located Abdul so you can laugh at yourself your prophet said the only one will talk about him is Isa and he will talk about a person his name is Ahmad not Muhammad why is Qala Isa ibn Maryam ya bani Israel all right chapter 61 verse number six what he said that there's a prophet will come after me his name is Ahmad so if the name of Muhammad should be shown it should be shown exactly as you see it here in the verse it should not be Muhammad it should not be without having a name it should not be like mysterious it should say his name is Ahmad not Muhammadim as the dad he fool you this is your Quran his name is Ahmad now by the way how many names your prophet he have 99 names why because none of them those are his names Muhammad he gave himself names to praise himself what the meaning of Muhammad the praised one if Muhammad is the praised one who is the praised to Allah who is Abdul wanna call us I don't know why this uh, uh, Muslim hero he hang up I mean obviously you have uh, you, you are you are occupied with Isaiah you have Isaiah in your hand and you can fight if you, you can fight with it and look guys how they change the topic suddenly they want to talk about Isaiah <laughs> oh boy answer answer come on Allah will bless you if you answer let us have fun come on be a man Coward. The most funny statement is what the Muslims they say that they found the name of their prophet in certain verses, or there is a prophecy speaking about Muhammad in the Bible, when their prophet himself he do not know about them. That is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet because how this guy became a prophet. Because now he's he's prophesying to us that this is about this is about Isaiah, about Muhammad. How Muhammad the prophet could not recognize that he is the prophet and his name is mentioned or spoke about him in Isaiah chapter number forty-two. But the Abdul, who is not a prophet, he was able to prophesy to us about the prophecy about the prophet. You know what I mean? The prophet who is not a prophet. He cannot find his name in the Bible but the Abdul they were able to find Muhammad in the Bible that is astonishing I'm really, I'm really astonished Muhammad is the last one to know the same as what happened when they found Aisha sleeping with Safwan Aisha she broke her necklace okay and Aisha she spent the night with Safwan uh -huh. and when Aisha she came back the second day they asked her hey Aisha where you been with Safwan I, I was looking for my necklace oh if 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 the last one to know is the Prophet Muhammad 
Do we have any brave Muslim want to want to want to prove to us? So what we get from this Abdul until now that Israel is the land of the Jews, and Muslims are desperately looking for their prophet in our Bible, and he just confirmed that the book of Isaiah must be a true book. Correct, guys? Did he confirm? Because the second a Muslim he quoted from a book, it's mean. The book is true. Who is the brave Muslim he dare to say that Isaiah is a true book? As long as you are quoting from there saying this is about Muhammad. Any Abdul is willing to do so? Guys, in the in Isaiah verse number three. It says that this person will not break anything, which means will not kill, will not harm. Right? Did Muhammad did not break anything? <laughs> Do you see it? Do you want me to show you Muhammad burning the trees? burning the trees not only breaking them and cutting them off do you want me to show you Muhammad digging the graves of the Jews imagine how much he hate he have huh do you want me to show you let us see so he will not break a branch of a tree. Which means he will do no harm. This is what it's meant. It's not about a tree, really. He will do harm to no one. He will be very peaceful. How peaceful was Muhammad? Ibn Umar narrated that the messenger of Allah B P B U H. I think this is a new chemical. I'm not sure if this is King King Jong, you know, in uh, in North Korea is using. Burned the palm trees of Banu Nudair and cut down. Do you see it? But the verse number three it says that he will not even cut a branch of a tree. In the mean, how peaceful he is. This is your prophet. Are you sure? Why a person he killed those people? Why I mean imagine how much hate he have. I mean, why you are cutting the trees and burning it? He killed the people. Why this person his hate is extended? And you know, remember, we are talking about the desert, and having trees in the desert is a blessing. People are desperately for something green. Imagine you have a park in the middle of the desert. That's amazing, that's beautiful. People they are traveling, they can lay down in the shade. Uh, people they can uh, find water because obviously, as long as there is trees, it means there is water too. He killed the the the, the tribe of Banu Nudair, and after he killed them, he start cutting the trees and he burn it. So how Isaiah chapter number 42 is about Muhammad and we can go line by line and we will see how stupid the statement of the very desperate Muslims about their prophet to find him in our book they could not prove him to be a prophet so desperately they are looking for him in our books do we have any Muslim here Who is a Muslim would like to give us a goal? Hello? If there is any Muslim? <clears throat> and by the way, this guy, he said he is from Iran. I, I strongly, I believe he is not. There is no way he is from Iran. This guy is a Pakistani boy. You can tell from his accent. You know, Persian people, they speak different accent.
any brave Abdul is willing to call us so when a Muslim he says he's a Sunni he is not a Sunni he's a liar a person who is a Sunni he do what Muhammad do you cut the trees you burn them you you hate nails and you put it in the eyes of people do you want to show you you cut the hands and the feet and you crucify people do you want me to show you the verse in Isaiah says it's not going to break break a branch of a tree Muhammad he cut hands he cut feet he did beheading he rape he steal even his followers they accuse him of a stealing underwear I mean, this guy is online. I don't know why he is not answering. Let me try one more time. This time I will read Quran for him. I mean, uh, I will say Bismillah al Rahman Rahim and call. Okay, say Bismillah al Rahman Rahim, call. Let us see if it's going to work this time. He don't want to answer. Look like he is convinced that his prophet is a scam. He give up. He gave up. Okay, Abdul, I will let you go. No problem. Who is next? Is this verse about Jesus? I mean, who cares if this is verse about Jesus or not? I'm very serious. Who cares if it's about Jesus or not? Let's say it's not about Jesus. That will not change anything. That will not change anything. According to your religion, Muslims, Jesus is the word of God sent down to Mary so Jesus in the Quran he came down from heaven he was not on earth he never been in earth according to the Quran and the word of God became a man well, that's what John chapter 1 verse number 1 and verse 14 says and Jesus cannot be God for if God if Jesus is God should not die okay well Jesus never die in the Quran that's mean he's God I mean, your logic itself is proving to us that Jesus is God. The same logic you are using to prove to me that Jesus cannot be God is the same logic proving to me that Jesus is God. How Jesus is not God because he died, but you must then believe that Jesus until now did not die. Who is the stupid here? And the brother, how God died? Now, who told you that God died? I want to know. Who in the world told you that God is dead? Let me help you, more Muslims. You see, the Muslims, they, you know, they sometimes they try to be smart. They say to you, okay, the Christians they believe in the Trinity. Okay, where was the Trinity before the birth of Jesus? Huh? Can you answer this? Where was the Trinity before the birth of Jesus? <laughs> hold on, hold on, Abdul. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The answer is in the Quran. The answer is in the Quran. The Quran says that Jesus is the Word of God. Does the word of God have beginning and end? I challenge any Muslim to say yes. When was the beginning of the word of God and when the end of it? Aren't you Muslims believe that the word of God is eternal? So the Trinity is always there. The Trinity always there. Another question. <clears throat> When Jesus, he is God and he die, who is the one in charge of the world? Hmm? Who is the one in charge of the world? Who? Okay, the manager. You know, Jesus, he hired a manager. <laughs> Abdul, Abdul. 
every Abdul is suffering from a donkey disease it's called donkeyism even you as a human when you die you Muslims believe that you are dead and you are yet in the grave and you can talk and you can hear and the angel will ask you questions <laughs> So you are dead and you are in the grave talking are you a talking dead are you sure and then the angels will come to you and they have a hammer from made from steel and they will ask you first the question who is your god you say allah <laughs> what is your religion you say islam and who is this man you say muhammad they will show you his picture if you give the wrong answer, the angels will hit you with the hammer and will take you down 70 foot. Sorry, 70 cubit. You are dead, but you're alive. So when the Christian believed that Jesus, he was crucified, they crucified the flesh of the man. God never died. Uh, he's going to quote for me from Google again. How are you, my friend? How are you doing? I got one more question. You have more questions. Can you make them ten? Can you make an? Can we sign a contract for ten questions? You know. Uh, no, no. Before you go, honestly, I'm serious. Can we sign a contract between me and you that you promise me you will not leave today until you ask me ten questions? Is that fine? Yeah. No okay. problem. You promise by Allah? I promise. All right. Give me that question. <clears throat> you know. Uh, you know, in your your Bible, yes. No, I do not know. You, you, you know your Bible. You 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 believe your Bible, yes? What my Bible? I don't have a Bible. Which Bible are you talking about? I, I thought we have one. The Muslim. I saw an article made by Muslim says we have a a billion Bible. Which one? Well, you have several. But which, okay, which one? I, give me give me the one Bible? you are talking about. Which one? Which one? Which one? I'm asking you what Bible do you read? King James, NIV? No, no. I, 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 you tell me. I tell me. You, I don't know. I don't know. I, you know. I don't have a Bible. First of all. Who is the ignorant who told you the Christians? Who is the ignorant who told you the Christian they have a Bible? Oh, so you're saying you don't have a Bible? No. no so where, where do you read the word? Where do you read your text? I'm asking you. Are you saying the Christians they have a Bible? Yes or no? I say we don't. I, must. I say no, we don't. Do you? Okay. So what do you have? We have the Book of God. The Bible is a word. Mean books of books. Many books. What Bible? It's a collection okay. of books. This is what Bible mean. So you're we have the book of God. Now let me ask you a question. The book of God. No, when we say when we say the book of God, that's mean the book belong to who? Well, to your to your to your opinion to God, yes. In your opinion about your opinion, what do you think? The book of God belong to who? Well. It's made for man, but it belongs to God. So, okay, so no, both of us, we agree that the book of God is the book of God. It's not the book of the man. Do you agree? Yes, but right. it's for direction. Then let me, let, me, let me ask you then, how come your Quran says that Allah is the one who sent the Injil and the Torah? And that means the Injil and the Torah are the book of God, and you just agreed. Do you agree with that? No, I didn't agree with that. You, you just I said, you just say said, everybody heard you, that we uh, that the book oh, of God is a book, we belong to God. Listen, listen, that. you said that... I thought Christians can't lie. My friend, you said that the book of God belonged to God. Did you say that a second ago or no? Yes, I never said the Bible. I'm, okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. No problem. Not, I, did, I did not say the Bible. I said I don't have a Bible too. I just said that to you. I said, I'm, I'm I, said I said, we have an Injil and we have a Torah. We have an Injil and we have a Torah. Now, who is the one who sent the Injil? Who is the one who sent the Injil and the Torah? Allah. Allah, thank you very much. So, the, not, the, so not, the Torah and the Injil is the book of Allah or the book no, of the no, Christians no, and the no, Jews? Not the book what you have now. My friend, it doesn't matter. I'm asking you now. You know, you don't even It have doesn't matter. Text. It doesn't matter. Listen, you listen. Okay, you just said, text. you just said, everybody heard you. You just said you know that? that the book we have now is I'm, not is not the Torah, I'm, is not the Injil. Is that correct? I'm, did you say I'm, that? You have done. Abdul, did you say that? Did you say that the book we have now have nothing to do with the Torah, have nothing to do with the Injil? I'm saying there's no originality. Okay, no problem. No problem. I'm just trying to understand. Are you saying that the Torah today, Abdul, listen, are you saying the Torah, my friend, 
it's easy are you saying the Torah and the Injil which the Christians and the Jews they have it is not the true Torah and Injil yes or no what they have now what yeah. you guys have now yeah it's not a true yes. so why you no, quote for me not. a second ago from Isaiah saying this about Muhammad well it's in the world isn't it so well, 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 well you are the one who's quoting me saying to me Isaiah 42 is about Muhammad so how it is not a true and now it's a true is it a true or not a true Hello? okay it's not true then just take it away what do you mean take it away I uh, so apologize then apologize that you did lie claiming that this is about Isaiah claim about about Muhammad apologize apologize take it back Say I apologize. I was lying. Okay, I'm just gonna ask you that you you do know you have no money. Don't don't say topic. Don't say topic. Abdul, don't say topic. You asked me the question. We have to finish it. Okay. So now you admitted that Isaiah has nothing to do with Muhammad because the Torah is a fabricated book, the one they have it right now. Now let me ask you a question. As long as you admit it, that Allah is the one who sent the Torah and Allah is the one who sent the Injil. Why Allah cannot protect His book? What do you think the problem? Because man's twisted it. Okay. I okay. So, and why Allah cannot protect it? I want to. I want to twist the Quran right now. Can I do that? You go for it. I did already. Here we go. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay. I twisted the Quran. Can Allah stop me? What if you go and look in the Quran? Yeah. We or there's many Quran already. Already there's many Quran, don't you know? There's tons of Quran. Which one is the one is, is the true? Which one Quran you follow? Which Quran you follow? You yourself. There's one Quran. No, no, there's no one. That's, that's not true. Even your prophet, he said there is seven Quran. Is that true? Show me. Okay, show me. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I will show you. Did you did you know that? Did you did you know that you have no manuscript from the first disciple or uh, what apostles or whatever they're called really you know, no, I, I don't I don't know that do you have manuscript for those manuscript do you have yourself uh, read how Jesus became no, no, listen 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 do you have manuscript yourself for the manuscript of Allah do you have what, what do you have manuscript what, yourself you are saying to me do you know you don't have manuscript listen we have we have tons of thousands we have thousands of manuscript you're lying now listen I'm asking you now do your Muslims have a manuscript of the how do you Muslims listen listen do you have Muslims? Do you have a manuscript for Musa's? Yes or no? For who Moses? Musa's? Yes. Do you? Well, no, because so why you are asking me to have manuscript for Musa's? Then the you are a hypocrite. You are saying Musa is a Muslim prophet. Allah sent him. Why Allah? He wrote the he wrote the Torah by his hand to Musa's. What the purpose of writing by hand if he will not keep the manuscript? What was why Allah? He wrote by his hand. What for? What for? Because man changed. Okay, I would change what the 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 rocks. Allah, He wrote it in the rocks. Why Allah He wrote in the rocks for Musa's? It was like an art. Do you think Allah He was trying to go and join a museum about writing on rocks? Why He wrote the whole Torah according to Islam? Your prophet He said that Allah He wrote the whole Torah of Musa's by His hand, not the Ten Commandment. So imagine how many trucks Musa's he need to carry so he can carry the Torah. Do you know how many pages the Torah? Oof, a okay, lot of pages, man. You don't even have the Torah. Now listen, okay, listen. I'm asking you, do you have the Torah? We have not a Torah, but we have Moses in our Quran. Yes. Ah, so you have somebody spoke about somebody and he came more than a thousand years or two thousand years after him and that is accepted. So you don't accept. You just said that somebody, he wrote the Bible long after Jesus and then you are saying to me there's somebody came long after long 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 after those who wrote about Jesus and you accept him so Muhammad well, came know, Muhammad came thousand of years after Musa listen listen, listen. Muhammad Muhammad came after uh, Muhammad Muhammad came thousand of years after Musa's and he can witness for Musa's do you accept him do you accept Muhammad witnessing for Musa's when he never been in the time of Musa's who? Muhammad. Yes, how he can witness for Muhammad and for Isa he if he never been in their time? Allah, Allah brought down okay. the book. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me ask Moses. you. If I give you now, if I give you right now the Torah 
and I say to you, I want you to swear on the Torah. Do you, you accept the to swear? You have, no, you have no proof. Listen, listen, I'm, I'm asking you a question. If I give you the Torah and I say to you, can you swear in the Torah? Do you swear in the Torah or you swear in the Quran? What do you mean? Do I get where do I get my information from? No, if I say to you, I want you to swear, you are telling the truth, and I, I give swear, you two I books. Mean, I swear. Okay, and I give you a book, and I say to you, this is the this is the Torah, and this is the Quran. Which one you choose to take oh. an oath in it? Quran. Why? Why not the Torah? Because there's no manuscripts of the Torah, but so, there is. In so, the Quran. so you are saying. Only, only false. So okay, so you are saying that only false Muslims will take an oath in the Torah, correct? Pardon, I didn't understand. Only false Muslims will take an oath by the Torah because this is a wrong Torah. There's no manuscript. Well, there isn't. Do we agree on yeah, that? Yeah. So I'm saying. So you are saying a true no, Muslim, I mean, a true Muslim, a true Muslim. Listen, listen. There, make it clear. Make it. Make it clear. A true Muslim. Listen. A true yeah, Muslim. No, no. Are you saying? Uh, hold on, I want an answer for my question. Are you saying a true Muslim should not swear by the Torah? Are you saying a true Muslim, a good Muslim, should not swear by the Torah? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, thank you. Here we go. You're a prophet, he swear by the Torah. And the hadith in the front of you, read for me. The Torah existed there. In the front of you, what do you mean exist there? Can I, why why are you Muslims? If it exists there, it means it's existed until now. But the, no, there isn't. You are talking like a turkey. You are talking like a turkey. And what do you mean exist at that time? The Muhammad in the Quran says that the, the Jews they, they corrupt the Quran in the time of Muhammad. Do you want me to show you the verse? They corrupt the Quran? Yeah, the, the Torah. Muhammad in the in the Quran he said that the Jews they corrupt the, the Torah. Yeah. So what yeah. do you mean at that time it was okay? No. He could they Muhammad said they corrupted. Yes, Muhammad he said the Torah was corrupt by the rabbis of the Jews. Now, yes. why you are the one who said a true Muslim should not take an oath on the Torah for it is corrupt. Here we go. This is your prophet saying it clearly that he believed in the Torah and he is taking an oath in it. Where it's in the front of you on the screen. Can you um highlight? The whole read the whole hadith. Here we go. There's no need to highlight. Read it all. Take your time. You read. Read for us. Let us hear you. <clears throat> I hope you will not hang up. We, we have an agreement. You will ask me ten questions. Ten questions. We are not even finished on the first one. So we have nine left to go. So Why does it say that? Why it does says, it say says, it says, my friend, it says that a group of Jews, they came to Muhammad, invited him to judge between them, and they called him Abu Qasim. One of our men has committed a fornication with a woman, so pronounced judgment upon them. They placed the question for the messenger of Allah, who sat on it and said, he said, Muhammad, bring the Torah. It was then brought. Then he would draw the caution from underneath of him, from beneath of him, and place the Torah on it, and uh, uh, saying, I believe in thee and in the one who sent who revealed thee. And you are the one who said, only false Muslims will take an oath in the Torah. Do you, do you want to call a friend? Do you feel like calling according to the neck or something? Okay, okay. So what? show me where Jesus said he was gone. What? Here's my other question. Tell me where Jesus said he is gone. Don't we are not done. So you admit that your prophet, you just admitted that your prophet is a false Muslim. You no. said, you said, everybody heard you to record it. People they will copy the video and they will post it everywhere. You said that clearly that only false Muslims they will take an oath in the Torah. You're a prophet taking an oath in the Torah. He's a false Muslim. Explain to me how you follow a false Muslim. His name is Muhammad, the son of Abdullah. 
can you go down a little bit where it says after thee who revealed thee? Yeah, go here we go. Bit, yeah, here we go. Read it. Read it all. I mean, I'm, I'm, we are not hiding. I, I can't see all I can see is he then said, Bring me one who is learned among you. Then okay, hold on. Let me let me make it more clear for you. No problem. Hold on. Let me use my magic. I will read the chapter of a chair. Uh, the chapter of the chair solve all the problems, technical difficulty. Okay, here we go. Do you see it? All of it now. All the hadith appear. There's no execute. Yes, I can see. One all second. Right. So what the problem now? <clears throat> Okay, you okay, you got me there. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I didn't know that. Ah, so you now so do you admit that Muhammad was a false prophet and false messenger and false Muslim? No. So what do you mean? No, a second ago you told me I mean you are contradicting yourself. Aren't you the one who said only false Muslims they take an oath in the false Torah? Why Muhammad is saying I believe in thee if this is a corrupt Torah? Do you think Muhammad was drunk at that day? Drunk? Yeah? Well, no. Okay. Maybe because he was bewitched by the Jews? Well, where does it say that? Uh, you, you do not know that Muhammad, he was bewitched? Muhammad, the, well, yeah. the, the Jews, my yeah, friend, not, not, the, the, yeah, Jews, not the, the Jews are very not dangerous. Let me tell you something. The Jews are very dangerous. That's why I don't visit them at home. Once I visited, visited a Jew, and when I went home, I start imagining myself having sex with my wives, but the fact I never did. And later I found that it was a Jew who made for me a magic, and I'm imagining things never happen. So what do you think about this, if this has happened to me? Do you think I'm going crazy, or this is a magic? I don't know. Obviously, I'm going crazy, you know. Look, look with me. He says the prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had sex with his wives, but in fact, he did not. Do you know what happened to your prophet? Is that on the screen now? Yeah. Uh, it's only just came on mine. One second. I didn't see anything. No problem. Take your Probably time. for such and such period. <laughs> I will give him time to read guys I will tell you my story once once I went to visit a guy he's from Israel his name is Shaul okay and I drank some tea and he told me do you like me to cut your hair I said okay so he cut my hair and then when I went home, I felt like there's somebody controlling me by remote control. So I start imagining myself having sex with my wives, but the fact it was the curtain of my window. And I imagined myself, and I told my friends I was having sex, but the wives, they told me, you never touch us, it was the curtain. So what do you think, Muhammad, from Pakistan? What happened to your prophet? He was having sex with the curtain or with the teddy bear? Hello? Hello. Yeah, what happened? What do you think happened to your prophet? Why is why he is not having I mean this is really crazy. You know, I'm not going I'm not I will never talk to Jews. I mean those people they are very powerful. I heard that the Trump Trump he is controlled by the Jews too. They 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 got some of his hair, he have a blonde hair, they got some of his hair and they are controlling him from far away. And this is exactly what happened to your prophet. Look at this. According to the story, they took some hair from his, I don't know from where, I hope not from the wrong area, and they controlled him from far away. So what do you think? Well, he was under the effect of magic. Okay, what does that mean? What does it mean that the prophet is under the effect of a magic? Okay, go down. It says, what material did he use? Let me see down there, please. All right, no problem. How many lines do you want me to go? Just a little bit, please. Okay.
So guys, our friend here, he accept that his prophet was under black magic. That's wonderful. He was under the voodoo, yeah? Somebody did voodoo for Muhammad. You know, uh, once I went to Jamaica, and there is a neighbor there. She told me she is going to uh, bring a rooster, and she would do some voodoo for me, so she I will marry her. And she did. Second day, I did marry her, you know? But the third day, another neighbor, she liked me so she did cook a rooster or slaughter a rooster and she did voodoo for my wife now my wife she asked me for divorce now the third wife she got me now because she did more, more powerful voodoo from the other voodoo because her rooster was bigger okay then the fourth wife the fourth neighbor i was moving like in the, in the town from everywhere like you know because voodoo is working you know so what do you think about what happened to your prophet a woman she did voodoo or a man she did voodoo for muhammad Hello? Hello? Yeah, tell me, uh, talk to us. What, what, what happened? So what? The, 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 it says, the, the, it says the, here, what material did he use? The other replied, the skin of the pollen of a male date tree with a comb and the hair stuck to it, kept yeah. under a stone in the well of Darwan. Yeah, so do you, Ooh, do, do you think really he can control a person by a skin of a pollen of a male date tree? So if I go right now and get some branches so from a from a palm from a palm tree, that doesn't, that doesn't indicate alcohol or drunkenness. I'm not talking about. I'm talking. I'm asking you. The prophet he was imagining himself having sex. Why was he? Look, I mentioned the word drunk when your prophet he took an oath in the Torah. I remember, because you said that this is not right. So while your prophet was taking an oath in the Torah, either he's drunk or he's taking hashish, or he was bewitched, maybe. So which one you want no, to maybe 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 the Torah back then was fine and now it's no not. but Muhammad in the Quran said the Torah was not fine. I can show you the verse. But now let us let us focus in here. Muhammad he imagined oh, so himself tell me that verse, Muhammad, tell me that verse Muhammad said that because he was drunk or something? No, no. Listen, I'm I, I'm saying to you when he took an oath in the Torah, was he in his uh, 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 like uh, conscious of what he's doing or he was a drunk or being uh, crazy or being hypocrite to the Jews I Say he was I hypocrite. I don't really know. I I'm say not, he was I'm hypocrite He's trying know. to convert the Jews to accept him as a prophet. So he said to them. I believe in your Torah and he take an oath of it and He put the Torah in the question and he swear on it showing respect to the Torah He did not insult the Torah he put, imagine he took the question from underneath of him and he placed the Torah in the top of it and he said I believe in thee and the one who revealed thee Now we see in this hadith that there's a Jewish a guy a Jewish guy. His name is Lubaid ibn al-Asam He got some hair of the hair of the Prophet And he controlled him according to some hadith. It was the daughter of Lubaid is the one who did the black magic for your Prophet now you said he was under the influence of the black magic. What is the black magic? Can you give me the definition? I didn't say he was under black magic. You did. You did. Go back and it's recorded. You said that. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. Now, so he was under what then? Tell us. Huh? He was under what? Here it says he imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. Why? Uh, what is the reason? Based, based on this story in front of us, the hadith, does it say magic or no? My main concern isn't this. My, my main friend, my friend, is does it say magic or no? Is it saying magic or yes or no? Yes. Okay. Can I so what magic mean? What magic mean? Who, uh, who, well, who knows? When? Who knows? What do you mean? Who knows? Uh, who so, knows? So how you can call it magic if you do not know what it is? Okay. What do you think it means? I mean, it's a stupidity. There's no magic. Look, There's no magic. My main concern you see, you see, is where Jesus <laughs> said he was gone. But don't change the topic. I'm asking you what no, no, magic what, what magic what magic mean he was controlled by magic What magic mean? Okay, let me show you from the Quran. Do you know what the Quran says about magic? Yes, it's bad. Okay, what bad what does that mean? It means it's bad okay but uh, that, that bad no it doesn't say that's bad it says that the the one who is practicing magic is the shayateen do you agree with that 
chapter two, chapter two, verse number one or two. Show me any of them. Okay, let us show you on the screen. Read if you me. show me what Jesus said he is don't God, change the topic I, you know we, you promised me no, 10 questions you, you promised me 10 questions you promised me 10 questions I, will, I, will, I promise you I will answer you about what when you finish this one this is the first thing we will talk about I promise well, Jesus, Jesus said I am God Jesus said I'm God I will show you okay now here we go it says that Allah he sent two angels Harut and Marut and they taught magic to the bad ones and it's used by the shayateen the shaitan so what do you say about this? I'm not interested in this, you know. I, uh, well, I am interested. You are the one who opened the topic, and now we have to finish it. It's your problem. You are the one who opened it, not me. Okay, can I close it? Okay, to close it, you have to answer me. How how your prophet is controlled by the shaitan? Because the shaitan is the one practicing magic. What kind of a prophet is controlled by the shaitan? What Allah was doing when the prophet was controlled by shaitan? He was watching TV. He was watching Dr. Phil. Sky News. <laughs> yeah, what he was doing? How you know uh, the Quran says that Allah is going to protect you from the genie and mankind. Okay, so how Allah He promised him to be protected. But he did not protect him. Do you know? <clears throat> no, I can't give you yes or no because I don't. Ah, you don't know. Okay, now you, I, 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 I made a promise for you. Okay, now we want to talk about where Jesus said, "I am God." Is that correct? In the Bible, yes. Or okay. in the Quran. Oh, right. If you're going to use the Quran, try it. Okay, we want the Quran. I love to use the Quran. Okay, let me show you the Quran saying that Jesus is God. You are the one who asked for it, so we have to go with it. <clears throat> okay, uh, the Quran, the Quran. We will go to chapter. Let's ask Zakir Naik. Christian brother, brother Hitler. Some Christians they said that Jesus is God, and all of us we know that this is not true. If we go in the Quran, we will find that the Quran said clearly that Prophet Jesus Isa is not God. What is the proof that he is not God? Read with me. All right. You know, because oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. no, no. I want to show you. Oh, yeah, we want to show you. It's okay. nothing, nothing serious. Yeah, no, no. I'm but, just asking you. What okay, you find okay, this. okay. Just read, read. It says here with me. What? اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أربابا من دون الله والمسيح ابن مريم. Do you know what does that mean? I don't understand Arabic. Man. So you pray to Allah in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic. I pray to him in English. Huh? You pray Quran in English? Yes. Are you allowed to do that? You said you are a Sunni, right? The Sunni yes. they pray to Allah in English. Since when? Okay, you must be a moderate Sunni. You 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 wear jeans, don't you? Okay, read with me here. It says that they took their rabbis and their monks as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah. This is the Quran saying that those the false ones they took their monks and their rabbis as gods instead of who of the Messiah and Allah. So Allah is saying that the Messiah and Allah is the one to worship, and this is the Quran. Chapter 9, show verse me number... in the Bible where it says Jesus. Uh, no, is you God. are the one who asked me to show you first from the Quran. Why you change now? In in the Bible, I mean. my friend. No, you said in the you said everybody heard you saying that. Show me in the Bible. In, in, in the... uh, 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 okay, so listen, the... uh, uh, you know, listen, listen, listen. What's the problem going to the Bible? We can believe? go to the Bible, but we have to finish. You are the one who asked me. People, they remember a second ago, you told me, show me from the Quran. We have to finish it. Why the Quran is saying they worship. They're monks and rabbis instead of Jesus. Why the Quran says that? 
Let's go on the Bible and see where it says he's gone. <laughs> you know, you, I'm doing your request. I'm doing your request. Don't jump. So why it says you should worship Jesus and Allah? What do you think? Show me in the Bible where it says Jesus is God. I will show you, no problem. But we have to finish this one. You have to give me an answer, so we can go to the Bible. What do you think? What is the reason for this? Don't you think there is a problem here? I feel like your, is your screen frozen. Huh? Do you have? Do you have on my? Because I'm watching you on my YouTube. Do you have your screens like in one, one place, like where, where writing is, or not? Because mm. I can't see anything. Why you don't see? Okay, hold on. Let us see. Here we go. Do you see it now? Do you see it now? Everybody can see it. Chapter 9, verse number 31. And I, I highlighted for you the, the verse. So what do you say? One second. <coughs> it's in Arabic, yes? Mm -hmm. Show me, can you show me in English, please? Okay, well, the English translation is not really accurate, but no problem. Here we go. The Muslim, they fabricated translation. Okay. They took, they take their priest and their uh, rabbis or whatever to be their lords in uh, derogation of Allah. But it doesn't say that. It says, instead of Allah and the Messiah. This is a false translation. Anyone who's speaking Arabic, he knew. You can copy the text in Arabic, but just post it in Google as it is, if you don't believe me. So what do you say? Why the Quran saying that they took their rabbis and their monks as God instead of Allah and the Messiah? Is that a mistake? No, 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 no. It says... I don't know the word to be their lords in decoration of Allah and they take as their lord. Yeah, this is your translation. I just said this is a false translation, my friend. It doesn't say that they were commanded to worship but one. Listen, Allah. listen, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. that's what you're showing me. This is what it's saying is here translation. This far, this is why I show it to you in Arabic. I thought you speak Arabic. I thought you okay. Hold on, hold on. Do you know, do you know a friend who speaks Arabic? Yes, but not with me. Okay, can you call him right now? Uh, what's the time? No, he'll be asleep. Hmm. Don't you have a friend? He is awake because we can call him and he can read for you. I, I don't want to ring him at like 12 o'clock at night. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, maybe we can do it uh, next time. Is that you promise me? You bring me another guy? You. Okay, guys, he promised me that he is going to read for us. He no, was going no, to bring, will, he's going to bring a, a, a friend who speaks Arabic and he will translate for us word by word. That's wonderful. Actually, I like that. Now, you said to me where Jesus said he is God. Yes. Okay. Do you know how to read English? Of course, man. Are you sure? I thought Christians are uh, meant to love their neighbors, no? And I don't love my neighbor really. My neighbor is a donkey. Wow. He's a donkey. So you don't keep the don't keep the commands of Christ, no? No, I keep the command of my uh, Christ because my my that's, neighbor that's my, my neighbor command. literally is a donkey. That's what I can command, right? my friend, my friend, my neighbor is a donkey. I don't have a human being next to me. My next door is a donkey. What I would do? But by the way, do you, you know, know what? Do you know what your Do you know what your prophet said about donkeys? What would this have to do with love your neighbor? Why you are upset? Did I say to you I hate you? Did I say I hate you? Hmm? Did I say I hate you? Why you are talking about about love? Do you are you even allowed to love your father in Islam? Why you are talking about hate now? Why you jump? You change it up. You want to talk about hate? Chapter no, nine, chapter nine, verse number twenty-three. It says you cannot even love or be friend to your father and your brother from your family. Is it that says right? that in the Bible as well. No, it doesn't say that. Yes, New Testament. Jesus said in, you can't follow me unless you hate your mother, brother, sister. No, this is not what, this is not what I, what it meant. 
This is not what it meant. No, that is what it meant. No, it's mean if you love more yes. anyone more than me, it's mean you don't love me. You, you, the, the, the worst, the most you love is your Lord. This is why the Bible yes. says the one who insults his parents should be put to death. Is that correct? No, no. It says in the Bible you have to follow Jesus. Yes, you have to even hate your mother, brother, sister, because he. You're he, not. He you know, you listen, listen. Okay, let me ask you. Did, you Jesus say, did, Jesus say, did, you, right? did Jesus say? Did Jesus say? Did Jesus say? Did Jesus say? Did Jesus say love your enemy or no? Did he say love well, your enemy? No. Jesus, did he say to the Christians, love your enemy? Oh, did he say love your enemy? Yes. Okay. So how he said love your enemy and hate your mother. <laughs> so obviously this is not what it meant. So you are being a now being a being a child this. Now listen. Okay, in, okay. In, listen, 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 listen. Don't talk about love because Quran all is all of it is about hate. All right. Now, Jesus in Luke chapter 20, he asked the Jews and he said to them, One second, I have a Bible at you. One second, let me go check. Mm. What do you have? The Bible of uh, Zechariah? Huh? Which Bible do you have? The corrupt one? Uh, yeah, probably, yes. Yeah, which, which corrupt one? Which corrupt one you have? Well, there's no manuscripts, original manuscripts. No, no, which, which so translation? Probably. Which translation you are reading? Is that the same one I you, just one you quote for me as uh, Isaiah? No, my friend, I just bought one from a shop. Ah, okay, no problem. All right, now it's NIV or something. One N second. NIV is not accepted. Christian don't accept this translation. This is false translation. Christian don't accept NIV, no. Christian don't accept it. No, ah. I don't. I don't accept it. No. Ah, so anyway, I will beat you from the NIV. No problem. Read for me. Here we go. Are you happy? I want to make you happy. <laughs> can't even go to a shop and buy a Bible because oh no! It's I, you know, there's I uh, do listen, listen. Do you accept yourself any translation? Say yes. One second, I'm getting. Do you started. accept? No, as long as you are talking about translation, do you accept yourself any translation? Say yes. What? Do you accept? Do you accept yourself any translation? Say yes. Do I accept any translation? Do you accept Yusuf Ali translation oh, to the Quran? For the Quran? Yes or no? For the Quran? Yes. Yes. Okay. In chapter 19, verse number 19, it says that Jesus is holy. He's what? Is holy. Do you accept that? Yes, of course. But Muhammad is sinner in the translation of Yusuf Ali. How does this happen? How Jesus is because holy. Oh, but Jesus is sinless, right? You just say that? And Muhammad was sinner. Yes. Huh? Muhammad was sinner and Jesus is sinless, correct? Yes. Okay. So how Jesus is not God then if you just said he is sinless he's sinless? Huh? 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 You ask me to no, prove no, to you that Jesus is God. You ask me to prove you ask me to you know you heard me and you answered and everybody heard you. You no, ask you ask me to, to prove to you that Jesus is God and you just admitted that your prophet is a sinner and Jesus is sinless. How a yes. human being can be sinless? Because God made him sinless. Okay, why Muhammad is not sinless then? Because that wasn't his that wasn't his mission. Okay, so the mission of Muhammad to be sinless, the mission of Jesus is to be holy. Yes. Okay. When a person he is holy, is that make him human or God? Well, just for Jesus. What holy mean exactly? Holy mean he never make a, even a mistake, correct? Because because yes. sin can be done yes. by mistake, yes. can be done in purpose, can be done in many ways. So Jesus, you are yes. saying to us, he never commits sin. He never made yes. a mistake that make him a perfect yes. person. Who is perfect except God? Can you answer? If there's anyone else perfect beside God? No. So Jesus is God. For he just admit that he is perfect. He never make a sin. He never commit a sin. He never made a mistake. And you just confirm that the mission of Jesus to be sinless and the mission of Muhammad to be the devil, to be sinner. When you say my mission is to be sin sinner, that's mean I, I am playing the devil. So you are saying to me that we have a bad cop, good cop. Jesus is the good good God. Muhammad is the bad devil. This is what you just said to us.
How can man be God? You just told me he's God. I do not need to prove it to you no more. You just accepted how man can be sinless. <laughs> you tell me how he is just a man because and he is God sinless. God. I am sinless. You are sinless. Everybody is sin. I am not sinless. You are not sinless. Everybody is sinner. So how Jesus is not sinless? Tell me, explain to me. Because God made him not sinless. Okay, God made him not sinless for what reason? Why? There must be a reason. That's a good question. I don't know. Ah, the good question, no answer for it. I know why. Because he's perfect. And a person who have no sin, shall he die? Shall he go to judgment day? If you have no sin, what do you think? No. Well, no, because Jesus is on the right hand of the Father. Thank you very Father. much. So Jesus, guys, he just admitted Jesus will never go to the court. For there is no sin to be judged for. So he is above all mankind. He is not like anyone. Everybody go in the judgment day to be judged. But except Jesus. Now, is it true that your prophet said that Jesus is going to be judge absolute just and justice? Hakim and Muqsitan? Jesus isn't going to be judged, no. No, Muhammad said. And Jesus, yes, oh, he said Muhammad that. Yes, Jesus judged? said that, yeah. But Muhammad said that he, Jesus, is going to be Hakaman Muqsitan, which means absolute just and justice. Yes. Is a ju okay. How you can be absolute justice if you are not God? There's no absolute justice except God, because God, he knows the unseen. He knows his lying, right? I can fool a judge if he is a human being. I can lie to him. I can cry and make him believe I am innocent. He will let me go. But I cannot fool God. So in order for Jesus to be the judge in the judgment day and to be absolute judge, no, Jesus not judge in judgment day. He is. Who okay, when Jesus is going to be practicing his judgment according to Islam. Can you show me where it says that Jesus is going to judge? Uh, in the Quran? Not in the Quran. This is from the hadith. <clears throat> oh, in the hadith? Yeah. Which one? No, no. <coughs> so how you call you? Well, hold on. Let me see if I can find it in English first. If not, then we have to show it in Arabic. <coughs> All right. Here we go. It's in English in front of us. This is Sahih Muslim. And the translation here is not really accurate. And this is Sahih Bukhari. Read with me, please. Uh, what translation is this? I mean, where is this coming from? Sorry, this Bukhari. is Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari. Let me show you one by one. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Sahir Bukhari, hadith number 2222, two, 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 which means 4 2. Sahih al Bukhari, or Sahih Muslim, hadith number 155A. Mm. Okay. Uh, Sahih al Bukhari, uh, 2476. All right. Jami'ut Tirmidhi Hadith number 2233 Okay, let us go, enough, we do not need to show more It is Sahih Now, Muhammad is swear, he swear That in the judgment day He says, mm. by the one who is in my hand Is his uh, my soul Ibn Maryam, which means the son of Mary Shall soon descend does it say there soon? Do you see the word soon? It's okay. Can I just read that because uh, you I think your you you speak it to me before I can see it on the screen. All right. Can I just read? Okay, read it. Hold on. Take your time. I'm zooming in for you so you can see it better. Thank you. 
it doesn't, uh, maybe it's because you haven't showed me it yet, it doesn't say that Jesus is going to be judging, you know? It says that. What, what, do you, what are you talking about? It's in front of you. It says, well, by the one judging, hands judging the justly. Do you see it? So, so in the set, judging justly. Hmm. So, break the cross, kill the pig, we know that Jesus is going to walk away with him. Judging justly. Does it not see uh, Mariam shall soon descend among you, judging, uh, well, judging justly? Yeah, it says that in front of you. Are you, are you looking at the screen? Are you looking? Everybody can see it. Well, you can see it. Should I give you the, the link? You open it in your browser there? Uh, yes. Please. Okay, here we go. Let me give you the link in Skype. Take a look in your Skype, please. And I will give it to you actually to in the text in the chat. Here we go. In your Skype. Open it and read for us. Take your time. I the one who handles my soul. I the one who handles my soul. Yes, I can see it. All right. So how Jesus is going to be the judge and what it's mean to be justly? How we can he how we can do that? Nobody can do that. Human, they make errors. So, I need to come back to that one. You like, like, I need to go somewhere and ask my imam. Okay, go and ask your imam, no problem. What, what about you call your imam to call me? What do you think? That would be what, better. Yeah, what about, you know, I mean, you, you make him call me. That would be better. I don't think he will, because he's old. I am old, too. Well. So now look what you said to me. You just admitted that Jesus is perfect. Jesus is no sin, have no sin. He is, he is a sinless. Jesus is going to judge in the judgment day. And he will judge justly. And Jesus How? is 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 he, you know look what your prophet here said actually here he he made a false prophecy. Did you notice what the false prophecy in the hadith? Did you notice the false prophecy? No. Your prophet he said that the Messiah Yushiko, which means almost, he is coming down. Very soon, not on like almost in the corner. So, this is something Muhammad he prophesied that Jesus is coming down very soon, fourteen hundred years ago. Yeah. Okay. So, why why you think this prophecy is not happening? Because judgment day, right? Yeah, but I mean, this is not, he said soon. Do you see the word soon? Actually, in Arabic, it doesn't say soon. It's very, it says almost. Yeah. But it's more than you soon. You can't, just, you can't say just because he said soon. It's like when Jesus said, uh, I'll come back soon, yeah? 
what Jesus kind of said to come back soon. It says, it, 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 it says in Arabic, my friend, you are reading translation, it says, La which means it's almost, he's coming down, almost, almost, he's there. So it's a false prophecy. Jesus now, let me ask you a question. Uh, let me ask you a question. Who, do, do you who, see, who, okay, okay, forget who, about this. Do, do you who, see there, do you see there your prophet saying that Jesus, Jesus hold, hold on. Jesus said, come back soon. That, that, does it say there that Jesus will kill the pig? Is it true that Jesus will kill the pig? Does it say that Jesus will kill the pig? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why? Uh, I guess because uh, we don't eat pigs, so we get so we, you, do, you don't eat cockroaches too. So why Jesus want to kill the pig? What's the problem with the pig? What's the problem between Allah and the pig? There is a fight between them. There's a problem. What is the problem? It's just a dirty animal. So there's many dirty animals. A human beings are dirty too. Don't take a shower for two days; you will you will, you will stink. So why why what do you mean dirty animals? All all animals are dirty. We are dirty too. What does that mean? Your prophet he used to have a lot of lice in his head because he's dirty. The pigs don't have lice, don't you know that? They don't have lice. Your prophet have a lot of lice in his head. So, uh, your prophet, he used to take a shower in dirty water, have dead dogs, and women of blood from period. Don't, the pigs don't do that. So why why he want to kill the pig? What's the problem between Allah and the pig? To find a reason why Isa, this Isa, the Muslim Isa, why he want to wage war against the pig? And which pig? It says a pig. There's one pig. Is that a big pig or something? Is he like a, a powerful pig? Big pig? His sexy pig? What? I'm trying to find out. Know. Do you think this pig is going to be found in, in, in Las Vegas or in Florida in the beach? What the problem? God is sending the most powerful person he have. His name is Asa. And Isa now is going to wage a war, a war against the pig. So do you think the pig is going to have an army too? Or it's just like a cowboy, you know, we see two guys, uh, Isa have, a, have his, uh, his, his, uh, his uh, magnum gun, and the pig he have his gun, and uh, Isa he says to the pig, we count okay. in three, and the first one who shoot he is the winner. So how, what will happen exactly? How he will kill the pig, do you know? Steam Prince woman. Uh how did if Jesus is God don't don't change topic why? Don't, don't say if you just admitted that he is God the, the word if is not exist no more uh, we just reach we just reach a, a agreement me and you that Jesus is alive he is sinless huh he will come back yeah. he is absolute yeah. judge he will be perfect judge and he is a perfect person and nobody is perfect save God so you do not need to be convinced more that Jesus is God, but now we need to ask a very simple question. Why Jesus want to kill the pig? Why not the donkey? You see, as an example, Muhammad, he said, the enemy of Allah is the mice. The enemy of Allah is the mice. Why Jesus is not going to have a cowboy fight with the mice? Why the pig? What the pig exactly did to Allah? He's an animal like all animals. What the, what is a big deal about the pig? We want to know. What is it special? It's just a bad animal. Why it's bad? Why do you think, why okay, do you, think, do, you, uh, do you know, my friend? Uh, do you, do you uh, know? Okay, do you have anyone? Jesus, listen, listen. What, what's your name again? What, what was your Jesus. name again? What's your name again? What's your name? Why? No, no, answer my question first. I'm, I'm asking you. I, I want to call you by your name. I don't want to call you Abdul. Okay, no, okay, Abdul, no problem. Abdul, listen, listen. Do you have any? Do you, do you have? Do you have any? Kashim. Okay. Do you have any family member have diabetes? Uh, my nan did before she died. Yes. All right. Do you know what the medicine they give to somebody have a diabetes? Well, they give them. They can give them plenty. They can give them all sorts. Yeah, but do you know it's made from what? It's made from pigs. Do you know that? So pigs are very useful animals, and they they, they save uh, millions of people. D have you ever have a surgery yourself? Do you have a stitches or something? Have you ever have a stitches? 
Uh, yeah, when I was okay. good, but I do, talk about do you know that the stitches is made from the meat, the skin of the pigs? Do you know that? No, no. Oh, yeah. You can go and search it. Don't, uh, don't tell me, show me. You speak English. You know, you have a computer. Just search. So okay, pigs, pigs save life, pigs. Pigs, they save life. Your prophet kill people. So pig, and if we, if we say we have a pig and we have Muhammad, which one is better? The pig. Millions of people will die. They have diabetes, but the pig is saving their life. Millions. Christians, Jews, Hindus, Muslims, doesn't matter. Millions of human beings, they are saved by Mr. Pig. Now, you millions of people die because of Muhammad. So who is more dangerous, the pig or Muhammad? Muhammad was being just self-defending. What self-defending? What, what, self what do you mean self-defending? Yeah. I mean, someone attacked okay. him. Hold on, Muhammad. He said, I, Muhammad. He said, the one who changed his religion, kill him. Is that self-defending? Well, if if he obviously didn't want people to be led astray. What? He if I want to leave, people. if I want to leave Islam, is that self-defend? I don't want to be a Muslim. Why he want to kill me? You said this is self-defend, right? Okay. Somebody don't want to be a Muslim. Why you want to, why he will kill him? If it's only self defense, as if he claim. Hmm? Anyway, uh, I'm so glad that you call me. But you know, I want you to try next time to get me your shake. You know, call him in the mosque and tell him that uh, you know you know uh, shakes shakes they will not debate me unless you pay them so let me tell you what you do tell him that you will give him twenty dollars you know he, you will you will buy him uh, like uh, uh, a headphone bluetooth you know then he will love to debate me so you have to promise me something because you know muslims and you are a muslim too they like rewards they don't do things for free like why the muslims want to do jihad because they want to get a lot of vagina no, no, no. Did, okay, did your prophet say that Allah will give you 80,000 women? What do you mean, where? What's wrong with you? Each time I say to you something, you say, Where are you born yesterday or what? No, what do you mean, where? Okay, hold on. You didn't answer my question when you said you would answer, by the way. Which one? Which one? If Jesus is God, how could he be tempted by Satan? What it says he tempted by shaitan. Do you know what tempted me? Yes. Okay, you just told me everybody is laughing at you now You just told me and everybody heard you that Jesus is sinless So shaitan he can try to tempt as many as much as he wish still he is sinless Let us say let us say no 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 let us say let us say Satan he come to me as a woman and she start doing belly dancing This is trying he you know he tempting this is he's, he's tempting me, right? But I did not commit sin, so Shaitan did not do anything. So the Bible tells us that Shaitan he tried, but it doesn't affect Jesus. And you just admitted that Jesus is sinless, so he's God. Okay, now your prophet he said, Look at this. <clears throat> uh, let us show you the hadith. Uh, ba -ba 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 uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> Let's see this one first the prophet said the list of the people of paradise in the position of the one with 80,000 servant and 72 wives Yes, yeah, 72, yes, 80,000. No, 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 this is the lowest reward, my friend. 72 is for the bad Muslim. It says there, the least of people. This is not the reward for every Muslim. This is the bad, the bad yes, Muslim. Yes, okay. yes. So I the know, bad I Muslim, know. the bad Muslim will get 72 wives and, and 80,000 little boys to serve him, according to this. What does it say, little boys? In the Quran, it says boys. Where? What do you mean where? I don't know. I have, 
I, I, I'm suspecting that you are a, 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 you, uh, you are a Shia. I don't know. No, I just think you're making lies. There's no say no boys. Mm. All right. They're not gonna be virgin boys. Okay, here we go. You see it? It says we are tofu alayhim gulmanun ka'annahum lu'nuhum maknoon. Chapter 52, verse number 24. And this is the translation of Prophet Yusuf Ali. So, what do you say? You told me there is not such a thing. It says, this is the translation of Yusuf Ali, young male servants, handsome as pearls, well guarded. <laughs> so, they are young boys. All right. If we go to different interpretation, Ooh. translation, the guy is gone. Guys, this, this, does it say here, shall go, boys? This Does it say boys? Boys. Sexy boys. Pretty boys. <laughs> Even in the heaven of Islam, there is a slavery. But you see, guys, when you, when you speak to Muslims, they cannot run away from the truth. Here we go. We made them admit. Let us get the conclusion of this conversation with this Abdul. Jerusalem and Israel is the land of the Jews. That's wonderful. Jesus is sinless. Jesus is perfect. Muhammad is sinner. This is his mission, according to what he said. This is what he said. The mission of Jesus to be sinless is the perfect person. But there is no perfect save God. Every human being make mistakes and do sin. Even Muhammad he said, Every son of an Adam is a sinner, but Jesus is not the son of an Adam, for he is not born of Adam. He is from above. As the Quran describes him as the word of God sent down to Mary. So the word of God became a man, and that man is a perfect man, for he is the perfect God in the form of a man. This is why he have no sin, he have no errors, he have no faults, and he admitted that Jesus will not go to Judgment Day to be judged. And not only that, we showed him from the Hadith how Jesus in the Judgment Day at the end of the time, he will come, he will come back, he will descend down, actually not come back, which means he's now in heaven. He, this is where his house now. According to Muslims, the house of Jesus as we speak is the house of God. Everybody is dead. Muhammad himself is dead. Jesus is in heaven watching us and yet the Abdul they are asking you to prove that Jesus is God if you are a new person in our channel don't forget to subscribe and by the way guys during the time my uh, during my trip uh, which is going to start this month I will still post uh, videos but I might not be able to make a live video if I don't have a good speed internet. So we will see, all right? But I promise you that every day at 4.30, every day in the schedule, my most day is going to be maybe Friday, if I can do on Wednesday, oh, we will see. Uh, you will receive videos during the time I am away, and you will. I will not leave you alone. However, I will be back anyway, and we will have more good time together. And if there is any Muslim, he have the courage and the knowledge to stand for me. I will be happy to take him. And as you notice, I go down to the level of the Muslims. It depends. If you are a scholar, I go. You know, we talk as we talk as a scholars. If you are a person who do not know much, I will go down, speak to you as if you are a kid. If you are an old man, I will speak to you as an old man. If you are a kid, I will speak to you as a kid. However, there is no Muslim can answer questions, for Islam is very dumb, stupid religion. A person who believes that God is going to give an endless penis cannot be a human being who have a brain. He is obviously under the, he's possessed or he is uh, under the influence of drugs. A person who believes that God is a pimp, he provides vaginas nobody touch and they have zero mileage, obviously he has mental issue. For this is not the job of God. God is not a pimp from Las Vegas. If somebody believe 
that God is working in the cosmetic of women right now as we speak and he is making the skin of a woman smooth and will take him 1000 years to smooth the skin of a woman obviously this God he is very slow he is a turtle if every woman will take this God 1000 years to smooth her skin I wonder if she made it from the skin of alligator What kind of a skin this skin is? Does it make sense? One thousand a year. I mean, come on. Just go and buy a few grams of Nivea, and that is going to work. Hello? A plastic surgery will take five minutes. One thousand a year for Allah to make her skin smooth. Why? And what does that mean? Allah, He created her from concrete, and then He is going to make a mistake. You want to fix it? So, if you, if you, you know, if you take uh, uh, the statement Muhammad, He say, you will find that it's a chain of madness and stupidity, and nothing there makes sense. This is cannot be a prophet of God speaking. This is a guy. He is, uh, you know, is 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 making uh, uh, stupid statements all over. God don't speak in such a stupid way. God is wise. If man can be wise, how about God? He is wise than anyone. He's the wiser. He is the source of everything. So it doesn't make sense. God, he promised me that I am going to have a uh, you know a woman and this woman she is going to sing for me so what what does that mean and this woman she is going to curse my wife in earth like what she will curse my wife in earth because she is not being nice to me i mean is that serious or this is a joke I like those pictures, you know, I find them fantastic. My friend, God is not a pimp. And he don't say stupid things like women. She have a sperm and her sperm is coming from her ribs. And the only reason until now I'm not married because I am afraid that I will get a wife and then a sperm. She will, will come from her ribs. I mean, I will jump from my bed and I will commit suicide. I will jump from the balcony. This is going to be God. A God who says that the man have a sperm and his sperm coming from the backbone. What the backbone have to do with sperm? Hello? Hello? How are you, my friend? I, I just want to say. Uh, yeah? Um, I'm going to look into it more. All right. So uh, let me uh, before you go. I uh, look uh, uh, just a simple question. What do you think about God uh, will make us very powerful in the bedroom in the heaven? What do you think about that? Uh, what? Uh, Allah, He will make us very horny in the heaven, and the man He will have a power of forty men in heaven. Oh, sorry, one hundred men. What do you think about that? I mean, why why Allah want to increase? My sexual desire to be like 100 horse or donkey. Uh, I don't know. Okay, do you like to have sex with 100 women in the, a day? Uh, no. What about 99? No. 77? No. So, are you saying that your God Allah is giving you promises you don't like? I don't know. I'm just going to check, you know. All right, but I'm asking you, why? If you don't like to have those women, why Allah is making no choice, but He will give it to you because this is a promise. If you don't like it, if you don't like this heaven, obviously in the heaven, as long as you don't like sex, those women they are going to rape you. According to the according to the Muslim stories, when you enter the heaven, you enter your bedroom, the women they will jump on you, 
one of them she will put her mouth in you know and the other one she will put her mouth in uh, you know and the other mouth she will put her tongue on you know and you know like you will be raped so why you want to go there do you like to be raped? be honest with me do you like to be raped by women no so what kind of heaven is heaven this is not heaven no more heaven is a place you enjoy what's your definition of heaven well heaven is a place where you enjoy happiness not sex what brings you happiness you know the the one the almighty who made me he can provide me happiness as jesus he said he and she they will not be getting married they will be the same as angels what does that mean it's mean he will free me from my needs number one reason for a human being is not happy that he is needy he need to eat he need to sleep he need to get tired he gets sick so the needs of being healthy the needs of staying young the needs of uh, uh, staying uh, need money the need of to pay for your bills those are needs and they are not making you happy so all those needs make you a slave of needs so what god will do he will free you from your needs so in heaven Even if, if in heaven you will be living the same as angels well you will not be an angel you will be the same as angels which means you are free from all your needs you are above the needs you are free so you will be called the child of god who is free from any kind of a slavery you will not be sex addicted you will not be food addicted you will not be sleep addicted you will not be sick you will not be hungry you will not need money and nobody can abuse you and nobody can use you and nobody because money and those things is the source of evil so god will free you from your needs and then you will know what happiness means for you will live with god and you are free and you live for eternity according to muhammad he will make you a slave he will make you slave of sex again and now not only again he will make you more slave addicted to sex to the point all day long you are doing nothing except having sex even muhammad he said that a muslim man will have orgasm for 70 years 70 years orgasm you know i like to have orgasm for like 69 years but 70 i think this is too much honestly do you think do you think it's it's good to have orgasm for 70 years kashem uh, no. Why no? Why no? You don't like 70? What about 50 years? Like imagine your grandma, she come to visit you at home and she knock at the door and she hear you behind the door having orgasm. She come the next year. She come again, she hear you still having orgasm. She come the third year, fifth year, seven year, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, six, six, you know, 60 years, 63 years, seven, 67 years and still you are having orgasm. And then after seven years, you open the door for your grandmother and you say to her, sorry, I was having orgasm. What do you think? Think about it, think about it. Anyway, thank you, my friend, for calling. Uh, I advise you to let your, uh, your shake to call me. Uh, we will be here again. Today is Wednesday. We will be here again at Friday uh, at 4.30 p.m. So feel free to call us. All right? Okay. Uh, thank you for yeah. calling. Thank you. All right, guys.